Another facet of live bait fishing is using pieces or parts of a natural bait. Things like fresh cut bait, belly strips, and eggs. Serious trout and salmon anglers know the effectiveness of individual eggs, spawn sacs, or egg clusters. Here's Dean Nelson, a seasoned Alaskan guide, along with Steve Perez, to show you how effective egg baits can be for one of our premier game fish, king salmon. Some black bear tracks, huh? Yeah, black bear, or it could be a small grizzly bear. The Cuscoquim will see either one. I see footprints. Are we likely to see anybody else fishing today? There is. There's one other lodge that flies in here. Does the same sort of thing that we do with the airplane. Mm -hmm. and, uh, now talk to me about this. We got we got a kind of almost a pool here. We got deeper water right in front of us. Now these are staging fish before they're going up in the river. These aren't actually migrating fish beyond this point or spawning fish. No, they're not spawning. These are all moving fish. And basically, a king needs deep water to feel secure, so they'll sit in the deepest water available. In this case, there's a pool right out here. Another fish just came up here. Yeah, and they'll do that before you can see the riffle up ahead where we got the airplane, and they'll do that before they shoot up through the shallows. Got another fish here. So what we'll do is wait out a little bit and just work bait. Yeah, we'll go to about our there. knees, um, maybe a little deeper, depending on what we need to for casting distance, and then just run a natural drift as possible. I know from fishing plugs that they tend to smash those pretty good, but eggs, light bites? Um, typically, yeah, because as even though with a plug they're, they're crushing it, you get a hook in them. With the eggs, they can actually, it's, it's such a light bait that they'll come up, suck it in, crush it, and blow it right back out. And usually the ones that people hook are the ones that after they've crushed it, they go to blow it back out, and the, and the, the hook, hook sticks. <laughs> and that, uh, that helps if it's a real light bite. Now you notice that we're fishing the eggs plain. We got a hook, no sinker. We've got about four to five feet of water out here. These things actually sink pretty well on their own. Now our goal here is to cast the skein out at about a 45 degree angle, which gives it time to sink to the bottom before we actually drift through the fish. A long rod, this is an eight foot six inch rod, is really nice for getting it out there. You have to lob these eggs. If you cast them too hard, they'll fall off. When drifting eggs or egg clusters in current, you want to have your bait tumble with the current along the bottom. By adjusting the upstream angle of your cast, adding weight if necessary, or by utilizing a float in slow current, you can keep your bait in the strike zone. There's one. You got one? Yep. I just missed one. It's got a good bend in the rod. So far I fished three different spots and caught three fish and you've come in right behind me. <laughs> Actually I think we do act. I have a little bit larger fish yeah, here, I got maybe a, up into I got the low decent, 20s. I got a decent look at it when it came up. Oh, I love the color on these fish. It's kind of a rosy red, almost a rust color. Early in the run, do these fish all have that kind of rosy red candy apple yeah, color? Yeah, actually, they'll, uh, they'll be real chrome on this river. They come in early and push up the river, and uh, they're just uh, maybe a light rosy pink, but otherwise, nice and chrome. And that's the same size again. Just a better attitude. Yeah. Oh, it's pretty in the water. That's really pretty. The other two were landed before they realized what happened. This one's awake. We'll go down below grab the her log for you. here. Hold it right there. Yeah. There we go. It's a little bit bigger fish. Maybe a pound or so. That fish took the uh, sack pretty good, huh? Yep, that one ate it. There you go. Go again. All right, a little male. Again, that 17, 18 pound range. You can see they start to really thin down in and through the shoulders here, you know, as they burn off that yeah, weight. Yeah, they really do. And these are like all Pacific salmon, these die after the spawn. Yep. As a general rule of thumb, once they enter their parent river, like this George will be the parent river for these fish, uh -huh. they have 30 days in their dead fish. Oh, really? We're going to release them anyway. Yeah, they still need to spawn. Yep. Oh, that's pretty. Steve, the, the still snell knot we use is pretty easy to tie. 
I'll show you how we do it. Basically, you're coming through the through the eye of the hook, and I like to use you got the welded barb on this side, and I like to go to the flat side for where I lay my line. Okay. Through the eye of the hook, you throw a loop in it, and and you grab it up towards the top, so your tag end is still coming out the the back end of the hook, and take that with your fingers, and you start the wrap. Okay. Once I've done that, I pinch everything and I pull on the main stem line. And what that does is that snugs everything up. With this knot, what it, what it allows you to do is to throw a loop in the line and you lay the eggs right in that loop. Mm -hmm. And it's, a real, it's just a real convenient way to fish eggs without having to put it into sacks or anything else. Now tell me about the eggs themselves. You harvest those from fish that you actually keep for, for food. And then you, you there's a, I know there's a commercial product that you actually use to to cure the eggs what's it called it, it's called pro cure and that's exactly what we do we, um, on any hen salmon we get whether it's a chum or a king you eggs you eggs are interchangeable we we'll use the pro cure on it and that cures them to the state of what we're using right now and so yeah they're they're uh, they're right out of the fish that you're catching right here now you prefer fresh eggs but if you if you have to you will freeze them yeah the the, the pro cure eggs you can freeze and they come out real well but I like to use just freshly dried eggs. It's like um, they just put out more scent. They actually, if you watch when we dip them in the water, they'll, they'll lay yep. out a cloud initially, a milky white cloud. And if you hold it there long enough, you'll watch the little grayling and the Dolly Varden come up and start yeah. pecking at it right away. This, this, yeah. The eggs are nicknamed Alaskan candy for the salmon. It's salmon candy because they can't resist it. So this right here, Steve, is, is a skein of eggs that we've cured from a fish we caught last week. And I'll cut you off a chunk here. We'll put it on the hook. Now with the membrane, you like to keep that outside. Now this is the membrane. You want to keep that against the line like this. It just helps it keep it from falling apart. That's basically our equivalent of the egg sac okay. you know, to help it. That membrane is... And then I try to bury the hooks in there to hold it just help. a little bit better like that. It's actually a pretty big gob of eggs. Yeah, it's, it's, no, it's nothing small. I, the bigger the better as far as I'm concerned. We're very fortunate because we do have massive quantities of eggs. There's a fish. Got him. The guy's on. Oh, it's the drift. It's the drift. He's it's become the, drift. the hot man. Coming at me. This is a teenager. He's kind of hot. He goes everywhere. In, out, up, down. Look at him go. He played the numbers game, and you got a good heavy fish this time. Yeah. I'm gonna take that sound. I just love that sound though. He's a long way out there. That was a 60 yard run. He's getting tired though. Let's hope the, the hook holds. Oh, that's, I, can't, I haven't got a real good look at him yet, but I gotta think he's in the he's, high 20s. Or, yeah, yeah, I would or say. Or more. Oh yeah. Just a nice big male. Dean, did you get a good look at him? Yes, I did. It's a good 30 right pound. 30 pound class range again. If you get them going, keep them coming. Just walk up the bank. That's it. You're there. <laughs> what a fish. What this is a good fish. A this is beautiful fish. Probably 35, actually. Just You'll so have a hard thick. Time getting your, yeah, so thick in through there. here. I mean, just, just a hefty fish. I mean, you can't even get your hands around the tail head is just so massive. I mean, they're, they're just so well built. A fish like this is the epitome of the Alaskan experience. Let's get him back in. He's ready to go. Look at that. There you go. <laughs> That's what it's all about right there. I love watching him swim off yep. like that. Congratulations.